Hi, this is Maria from Maddie's Way of Life. Welcome back to my channel. This is my September spread and I just want to show you the current week. Today is Sunday of this current week, but I went ahead and I actually planned for future weeks. So today we're not even planning for September. We're actually planning for the second week of October, I believe. I will show you in a little bit. This is for the upcoming week and I use Simply Gilded Washi. That's my Monday for tomorrow planned out. And there it is. I also went ahead and planned this week right here, which is my husband's birthday week. So I decided to do blue. I planned out October monthly spread, but this was a while back. And then this is the week that we're currently going to plan in. But I also want to show you that I planned out November and December with Punky Bee Designs monthly kits. They fit A-OK. -okay. The boxes are a little bit longer, um, but that's OK. Um, they still look OK. This is a six month planner from Ivory Paper Co. And I am enjoying it until December because that's my last month to use it and I am excited to tell you that I bought the Daily Duo. Unfortunately, I was thinking I was going to get another six month Ivory Paper Co. but just, you know, life led me to the Daily Duo. I am using a so cute planner sticker kit. I don't know the name of it, but I thought it was a good kit to use for this week. Uh, it has some some of those corn candy. What are they called? Candy corn? Yeah. And so I thought, well, it's perfect for October and it's fall. So, and I love pink. So I thought this is a really good combination of colors for this week. So anyway, I'm going to start by putting the square date numbers on the date covers. Usually I don't cover the dates on this planner because I really do like them. But I want to try something different this week that I have never, ever done in this planner. And I, well, there are not really a lot of plan with me with this planner. So I'm not sure if anyone else has done it. But I am actually going to use the entire column of, of what is it called? Oh, my second sidebar to the right. Instead of using it as a sidebar, I think I'm just going to go straight through and white all of this out for the date covers but also white out that sidebar so that this one right here so that i am able to use it as the sunday column which would kind of be typical of vertical planners i do love the setup of this planner but today i thought i would try that because i am going to kind of go back to that um coming january so even though it's an hourly, but we'll see how it goes. I feel like I have changed so much. If you haven't been in my channel for a while, please know that I actually haven't been in the planning community for a long time. I've been a planner, I wouldn't say like this my entire life, of course not, not with stickers, but I mean, since I can remember from school, but stickering like this, I've only done, this is actually my second full year. So I have attempted many different planners. The one that I haven't is the hourly. And of course, the daily duel that came out this year from Erin Condren. So I am going to give it a try. Okay, so let's see what happens here. I like to cut this little part because I used to sue it, use it as a sidebar and this sidebar to the right is wider than what I, what the regular side, I guess it's a 1.5 inch, but the sidebar is uh, wider. So I'm not sure what the length of that is. It might be like a 1.7. But anyway, I'm going to start down here and I'm going to start with my full boxes. I like doing that so that I kind of can glance where the glitter headers are going. So I think I'm going to do all of this like beautiful red fall color at the bottom and I'm just going to go straight down from there. And then I'll use probably, well, there's two gold glitter header so I'll use the glitter header gold glitter header in the middle and then here I make a decision to actually put this full box a uh, deco box not deco box this full box from the kit 
in um, a little bit lower so I have that space at the top at that point I did not know what I was going to do I was kind of just eyeballing things and seeing how that was looking I was liking it um, so you'll see what I do but I absolutely love the way I decided to do this week so you'll see how it turns out but I am loving it honestly um, there are a couple gaps here and there because I didn't measure correctly but I'm not worried about it I really am not this is the planner that I use functionally so if I were back at work, I'm actually teaching virtually this uh, starting of the school year. I'm I'm not sure what's going to happen, but if I was traveling around, this will probably be the planner that I carry in my work bag just to keep me in reference to scheduling appointments or sometimes even IEPs or parent conferences, anything like that. I like to see um, where, you know, in my personal life, I can give them a space because usually it takes out of my own time so usually I would like to carry my Hobonichi which I used to do I don't know at the beginning of this year yes at the beginning of this year and I loved it but you know that's a whole other story that I can tell you at another time I actually did order two Hobonichis this year but those those are for journaling um one is for Camila and one is for Sophia and I've been living journaling in there and adding sprocket pictures in it and I did show it in a past video I think it was my planner lineup that's the only planner lineup that I have done in my channel for I don't know this is my second year so um check it out I I would try and link it down below I don't know if I'm going to remember because well I've been super busy with my teaching life so I'm not sure that I'll get to that and then by the time I edit I it, it's hard to just remember what I said I was I'm going to write a note now but hopefully I can remember anyway that story to say I bought two Hobonichis and two Hobonichi covers and I got the weeks and I love it I absolutely love it but I won't use it as a travel planner anymore I do have a skinny mini happy planner for that but there's no going out anywhere right now as i'm looking at this plan with me i'm looking at the red glitter headers are kind of slanted and i'm not gonna lie to you it's bothering me just a smidge but we're going to try and ignore that i know for us is that's kind of a little harder to do or not harder hard to do but i'm just you know yeah well, you saw that gap right there while I was trying to figure out stuff. I lost my full box with, um, I don't know, I think my daughter walked in. I'm not sure, but I lost my full box. I couldn't figure out where I had left it, and I was trying to look for it. Uh, by the way, excuse my nails. I was trying to, I'm going to get a new set, and I want some cute deco on it, so I kind of am popping them out, but yeah. Okay, sorry. Um, it is it, it was super late that day and I am trying to just get ready, you know, get ready for the following day and school day and the school day keeps me super busy even though I'm teaching from home and I do have the option to teach in the classroom, but I don't have anyone to leave my girls with and it's only essential workers that I should be going into campus, so I'm not allowed to take my 10-year-old so she can do virtual class from there, which makes sense, um, but I wish, I really wish I was in the classroom. Anyway, I am whiting out that sidebar. I usually leave those habit trackers that they have on the planner, but today I am going to try, like I said, this whole thing is new. I've never done it on the ivory paper comb, but you know, I decided, what the heck, let's just try something new, especially because I really want to enjoy the last three months I have in the ivory paper comb. I actually, it might be, I mean, if I go all the way through December, the only planner that I have fully committed and completed during my planner journey, I want to say, yep, yeah, I want to say that holds true. So let's see what happens. I'm pretty excited, actually. It's a good feeling. The other one that I'm trying to finish and I've been doing really well with is actually the Aura still. Look at that sidebar. It's not bad. It's good, right? 
Anyway, um, the aura is still um, blush. I've been doing memory keeping in that. Um, just like the basic day-to-day -day things, not a big deal. The big memory things for my girls going to Hobonichi and for my husband and I, I was trying to do the big happy planner just because I wanted to sticker it. But honestly, I haven't been consistent. But my girls, I've been on and off. You know, it's not whoa but anytime they say something funny or i don't know like whatever they do i just write a little letter for them and it's it's super cute so that's their memory planning so this is kind the rsl is kind of like my getting my sticker obsession and hobby um ideas out and it just it just it's my me time it's very much my self-therapy. All right, so we have put down the full boxes except for the one I lost that goes on, on Sunday. And I don't know if you noticed, but that space at the top, this kit has like H2O or water trackers. They fit perfectly up there. And I think that is so cute. And I just went with it. Um, this little pencil is from a shop that is closed. And then I was using... Uh, the what is it like maybe six heart checklist and I cut them in half so that I can put Camila's virtual schedule there and this week is actually really exciting because it's the week before we go off on our October break from our district so it is super exciting to have that here so I'm using that cut off three heart checklist and the pencil just to kind of denote that and I think it looks cute so Anyway, um, planners, yes, I'm hoping that I am able to keep up with this one and my Aura still because those will officially be my first two planners that I finished completely. And with the Ivory Paper Co., uh, there was a week where I didn't plan in, but that didn't mean that I went to another planner. That just meant it was a super crazy, busy week. I was stressed out about um, getting ready for our new school year and teacher contract and MOUs and if you're a teacher you probably understand what I'm trying to say here I actually did a mistake here and I was adding two schedules so I end up removing them a little bit but anyway um so th there has been, I think there's like maybe two weeks that I didn't do in this planner and I will not back plan because it's supposed to be my functional planner so I will never back plan in my functional but I did go ahead and kind of added my memories on the aura still but that being said i didn't change to another planner i just skipped those weeks because i needed to um here i am removing that because i don't know what i was thinking so yeah so school monday through friday and then uh i i removed that six schedule that I was going to place down all right well look at that that looks really cute I am obsessed with that with the exception that not all the stickers are straight but I guess that's something that I'm gonna have to live with since they're already down all right so here I'm trying to figure out what to do next I think I want to find my full box <laughs> before I move on, but I couldn't. I was having a moment there again. So I'm gonna go ahead and put our basic stuff. And it's of what, two, three weeks ahead? No, two weeks ahead. So, which means I'm only putting the very, very basics. Things that I know are going to happen. For example, school. Um, my husband gets paid on Wednesday. And then what else? Taekwondo schedule. So I'm gonna go ahead and add all of those things in here. Um, I decided to do two weekly schedules on the sign, Monday through Sunday box. I think I might do like grateful things and then I want to do my steps on the side, but I'm not sure yet. I will wait and see what will happen on that week. I know for the habit trackers, I do want to put um, check off when I have met my 10,000 steps, my goal for 10,000 steps, and also... I want to see if I, uh, what days I work out. I've been doing really, really well. I'm on a seven day streak right now and I have not been work working out at all. Like I jump off and off, off and on, sorry, more off than on. And so this time, seven days a week of workout, it means a lot. Like I am super hyped about it and I filled my 
three move goals from my eye watch and it was so exciting today i actually filled it out by swimming i was swimming with camila in our small pool it's not super big but it's it's nice it's an above ground pool and i was just having so much fun in there today it's not as warm but it was good enough weather that we could still go in and enjoy our pool all right on friday i put that sticker to represent i want to say camila's taekwondo no 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 i'm sorry it's probably oh i know i just want to say um we're off on a break that's what i did so i put one of those metal stickers here i'm trying to put the basics like my husband goes grocery shopping on wednesday so i'm placing that down i'm trying to think like of other things that i do like my nail appointments are usually on friday so i'm trying to put that in and then here i'm putting camila's taekwondo boxes so it will be represented by these um what are they like littles and then with the paper clips that come in the kit to represent her two virtual taekwondo classes and the friday one is actually a live class so i will note that the fact that i'm noting it doesn't mean that she actually gets them done sometimes i cancel them myself or i just camila does because she's super tired or like we have something else to do during that day and unfortunately that's one of the things that is sacrificed I put a coffee for Saturday. I want to go and get my fix of fall drinks from Starbucks. That is my goal. <laughs> and then um, I'm trying to finish off that Sunday column because I guess I didn't finish it off. You know, I'm trying to show you that I've been using all the stickers. I actually do not add any outside stickers. I use all the kit stickers because I thought it was super important that for the first time I actually... <laughs> will be using them so here we go from now on i think what i'll be doing what am i doing here what i'll be doing is um planning a couple of weeks ahead i have officially subscribed again to sweet kawaii designs i'm trying to not give it a try again but go back to it because i think it's going to be a good kit monthly kit for my new daily dual system um because i did uncoil and added my hourly there as well i don't know i one of the things that i didn't like is that it didn't have all the boxes i needed to do like in like what i'm doing here i officially use eight full boxes so i really didn't have that luxury when it came to the monthly subscription kit from sweet kawaii because there were not enough full boxes and a lot of the, her boxes are actually um Tasha does them where they're functional so they're like empty boxes i guess i could put a quote or whatever but i really would like like a design on them so that was a difficult thing for me but now that technically the hourly i don't think i'm gonna plan like this i'm probably going to i've seen romina rosa plan in her hourly um she has a plump paper now but she used to have the erin condren as well and she only uses like two boxes one on the sidebar and one on sunday which i think is beautiful and i'm obsessed 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 with her videos so i here here i'm looking for the full box again i can't believe i can't find it so anyway that's my plan i subscribed again i actually made really good use of this five page kit they're usually five dollars on fridays 50 percent off from so cute planner super affordable it's something that i can buy i am so happy that i found the box look how beautiful it looks i'm showing you the kit again so that you can see what i used i think i was doing that oh wait i just had to put another box because it was there um i might use another box there yeah i think i'm gonna decide to use those boxes just because i, I want to use them so i'm gonna put the leftover boxes there and i'm sure i'm going to find a use for them well guys this is what i have for you i hope you really did enjoy this because i really did enjoy using that last column to make it a sunday i think it just you know it reminds me of what i used to do before i got the ivory paper comb so there it is i used all the boxes and i'm excited about that let me show you the kit so that you can see so here are the full boxes 
Oh my gosh, I used most of that. Yes, sir. Good job, Maria. I did good, I think, and I'm glad I was able to use most of it. I won't do my daily pages because I kind of like the setup I did this current week. And today is Sunday the 20th, I think. Is it the 20th? Yes. So I kind of like the way I did the daily duo. Um, the daily do the daily pages for this upcoming week see how it has like three um most important and before i only did the weather so i kind of like those boxes i'm gonna see if that works best so i might be doing that we will see but for now i'm gonna let you go love you guys take care but more than anything god bless goodbye